Uh, hi guys, uh, <clears throat> welcome back. Uh, just give me one second. I gotta, I gotta adjust this one setting. So as I was saying before, uh, I you you can use uh, uh, the switch over commands. Um, you know, using the SQL plus find uh, to change the database role from primary to standby uh, database. So I. So last time when I left when I left off, um, I had I committed. Uh, let me see. Is it this one? Um, I think I ran this command to alter that this commit to uh, switch over to primary. So this what happened is that uh, I ended up, you know, I had this command and I also had you know, you know, basically what happened is that my I ended up with two primary databases. Uh, and basically, I had to I had to get rid of that wait get rid of that or that uh, data guard uh, um, configuration and create a new one. So the new one is uh, and again, so it's just v11 g2 h1 and not h3, and I still have sd v11 g2 sd. So uh, so I'm just gonna continue with the tutorial. Um, so I had these two <coughs> these two windows, actually these three windows. So what I'm going to show you now is I'm just going to show you how to and again uh, perform a, a commit a switchover uh, command manually um, uh, and basically I'll be switching over from a uh, physical uh, physical uh, standby database to a primary database. So what I've already done is I've already changed uh, this database from uh, this this one was a primary and I and then I, I ran this command the auto database commit. To switch over to physical standby with session shut down, and after this, I had to uh, start the database back up, and then so now the database is the physical standby. Uh, and keep in mind, this is my this should be uh, v11 g2 uh, st. So let me do service show parameter. There you go, and show parameter. <coughs> service okay so I have um so and again so the top is supposed to be the primary and then the bottom is supposed to be the standby and but you know I've been I've been doing some back and forth so but for now I'm going to change this uh physical standby which is a true primary into, a, into an intellectual primary database so let me do this I'm gonna run this command uh alter database commit to switch over to primary so let's copy this and also, if you can, if you can, uh, if you can uh, see, I've, uh, you know, on this window, I've already, I've also performed the switchover with, uh, with a DGNGRL. Um, basically, with DGNGRL is just the, the switch over to uh, a standby database, and then that standby database is going to become the primary database, uh, and you know, it's, it's much simpler. So let me do this. Come to my true primary database. Run this command. <clears throat> okay. Uh, let me do this. So it's not gonna be easy. The reason why is I have this one as the as the primary database on this setup. So let me do this. There you go. So remember, I went over the concept. The concepts of if you ha if you're doing the the um the, the administering from the book configuration, or if you're doing it uh, from you know your SQL plus uh, clients, you have to decide which one you want to use. Um, you're going to use, or or basically, or you're going to have settings that are going to conflict. So this is what just happened with this one. So on my uh, on my for my book configuration, I have. Uh, I have basically my my primary database as a as this one, the v 11 g 2 sd And what I was trying to do is I was trying to make this, you know, at the database level, at the SQL Plus level, uh, to change this to uh the, the standby database. Uh, I mean to the primary database. So what I'm just gonna what I've just done is I've um I've just I've returned my my physical my physical standby database to the to uh to the primary database level. 
and so what I'll do now is I'm just gonna run the show a select database row and so now my database is back to primary. So that's how you do that. You just you can change your um your your physical you know physical standby to uh to primary or primary to physical standby. But just be careful when you're dealing with you know with with, with uh when you config when you've already configured a uh a book configuration. So let let me let me actually just do everything that I've, that I've already done uh, one more time. So uh if when you when you are if you went on your on your primary database uh and again the primary database that's that's recognized as a primary as a true primary database by the um by the book configuration if that's what you're using to to manage your data guard environment uh basically what you have to do is you just have to run this command all to database commit to switch over to physical standby to session shutdown so let's okay let's see that open so let's do a shut immediate and I'm gonna do a startup and then and then I'm going to uh run that command. Do startup Okay, uh come on. There you go. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do a select database row. You know, from what my database row. This is one to set to primary, right? And the command that I ran before having before we started the database is this one. So let's uh run this and Basically, and turn our, and we turn our database, our primary database, to a, to the physical standby database mode. Uh, that oh, oh, database will so it's really about so okay so um physical standby, logical standby, snapshot standby, primary. Those are database well. Uh, and again, so basically, you know, you would you you know these are these are also settings that you that you would apply that you would assign to a particular database. So after this, after this is done, and again, this is probably going to uh, ask me to uh, ask me to restart uh, the database. I mean, basically, just shut it down and, and start it back up again. Um, so after this is done, I am. Um, let me look at the, what I have here at the bottom. I also uh, and again, so I've already, I have um, you know from physical standby to uh, physical logical standby to primary database, and from primary to physical. Uh, to uh, standby database, uh, to standby database well. Okay, so let's just go here to the bottom. Uh, kind of, I'm just kind of skipping ahead. Of what's going on here? So next, I'm going to change my physical standby to the logical standby. And again, I already have the commands here, so it shouldn't be, you know. Hopefully, hopefully, you know, it goes, you know, it it goes smoothly. But you know, with with data guard, um, from what I've been doing for the, you know, for a while now, is you, you never really know. There you go. So my database has been altered, right? So what I do now is I already know that my database is shut down. So let's do a. Uh, Let's do a. If I do a startup mount, right? It's gonna say, "Oh, database is all, is all being started." So, uh, so let's do this. To confirm what state it's in, right? So let's do select status from the dollar instance, right? The database has been started. So let's do an alter database mount. Database all is already mounted. So we want to okay, what's going on, right? Just to make life easier for you, so just do a shutdown immediate and then just start it up. So if if the remember remember the the uh the the um 
Kyle Davis is open, right? He has to start it and then it's mounted and then it automatically is open. So I just shut it down and then so now I'm just gonna do a regular startup. So after this is done, uh, and again, this is my primary database, right? And if I wanted to change it, change my, you know, change my primary database, my uh, the v, the V11 G2 ST, you know, back to the physical standby database status that it had before, then I can I'm gonna do it to uh, uh, DGM GRL. So actually, you know what? Um, I will do that. So. Okay, so let me see. Okay, anyways, for now I'm just gonna leave that alone, and hopefully I'll see if I can resolve it later on. Um, anyways, so uh, to step to change that recall from physical to standby, right? Uh, so this is my standby database, and just to confirm it, it's like database row. Uh, this is my standby database. Let's actually see what state it's in. Select status. From V valid instance, so it's open. Okay. Okay. Uh, then let me do this. Uh, so let's select uh, flashback. Uh, database row force login. Uh, let's just see what what I have up here. Ooh. Okay. So apparently, uh, these two have to be enabled right, for you to switch. The primary, the physical standby to the logical standby. So let's do this. Um, let's do this. Let me shut my database and then shut immediate. And I want to, so to place you to uh, enable flash, like you have to, uh, the database has to be in mount mode. So that's why I'm, um, you know, I'm, I'm shutting it down and restarting it. So let's do a uh, startup mount. Uh, let me see. And I think I already have force login enabled. So let's actually do this. Select force login from the dollar database. Uh, yes, it is enabled. So let's do. Let's just enable flashback. Out to database. Flashback on. There you go. And now let's do out to database open. So what we do next is we are going to let me just see what that shadow author has had connected and standby. Um. Uh, not my old yeah, for, uh, you could do the same by okay so let's put out our, our, our um <coughs> our physical standby database in mount mode so let's do shut immediate And now let's do startup now. Okay. Um. So after that, this is in mount mode, and we know this is physical standby. What we need to do is we need to confirm that we have uh, supplemental logging enabled. Uh. And it and in terms of um, basically like why you need uh this setting enabled, right? Um. A lot of what goes on internally with Oak, right? Is you know you have to you know you have to make sure that you know like you know operation that capture transaction that capture that capture artificial that capture, right? So basically, when when you do a supplemental logging, then basically you you know you you are ensuring that you 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 will capture uh, a lot of uh, you know a lot of internal you know transformation or modification, right? So that's what you know. The the uh, these additional logging uh, settings are. You know, you already have force logging, but you also have supplemental. You have logging at the table level. You have logging at the uh you know 
a, a, a different level. So, um, and again, so that's just you know a way for Oracle to ensure that you that you that you you capturing all of the uh, the data or you know you know storing you know the the data the, the data that's being modified in the different objects that are available in Oracle. Uh, that's that's pretty much uh, what what logging is about in a nutshell. So the uh, database has been mounted. Um, so now I'm gonna I'm going to confirm that my you know to see if I have supplemental login enabled. Right? I thought I should not. This is not a uh, you know I don't think this is a default setting. So let's just uh, query it. So no, uh, it's not enabled by default. Um, so select supplemental. Uh, and then and it should also be set to no. Okay. These are the these are the default settings. So now, um, you need to enable supplemental logging. So let me do it all to database. Add supplemental log data. Uh, primary key, unique uh, columns. And again, so it's very um the level of detail as far as you know, you know, you know how how in depth, right? You know the columns, you know the constraints, and all those things, right? Um, you know that's what that's what you know like all these supplement logging is about. Uh, it gives you you have more you have more uh you're able to do more in terms of what you're capturing or or or, or the modification that 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 that, that or tracking the modification that takes place inside the database. So let me see what I've just done here. So okay, so what did I do? So I wanted to copy this. Copy it and then paste it on here. I should have this uh log file expected. What did I do? Uh, expected. Uh, let me see. I think I'm, I think I copied this command wrong. So let's do this. Um, command log data. Primary key unique index column. <coughs> Log file is expected. Uh, just give me one second. I'll be right back. I need to confirm this command. So welcome back. Uh, as I was saying, give me one second. So as I was saying, um, you have okay so for the auto davis as manual log right so it's not i had an underscore if you look at my my uh of the, of the script so I, I think i probably just copied it from my select statement but you're supposed to have a uh you're not supposed to have underscore um and then so i just removed that and basically so now so now i have i've just enabled i've, I've enabled our supplemental logging so let me rerun the sub the uh, supplemental log data uh this way again so let me uh, select the data database. Click here, yes. Um, and let me let me also rerun that uh, the UI. Yes. So I have I've just enabled some logging for my primary key and also my and also for my Unix my my unique uh, constraints um, at a column level. Um, so. Uh, Yes, so this is what I was uh, going over uh, earlier. Basically, you have the um, these call they have to be uniquely identified, uh, unique identifi identifiable objects. So um, that's that's what supplemental log logging is about. Um, so okay, I think I just you know I did a thing that that I just you know uh, came you know or, you know heard of or you know. Uh, uh, or you know, just came across as I was, you know, uh, getting this tutorial uh, set up. 
Um, so let's confirm that all those can be uniquely identified, right? So let's do a uh, select table. I mean, I'm not gonna too long for it. Let me just copy and paste it. And probably I'm just probably gonna have to do two, uh, like a few, a number of uh, copy and paste for that. I I don't think I'd be able to, you know, put it all in one in one um one um you know copy and paste so let's do this copy and paste what do I have left so let's do there we go and then what do, and I have from left so let's see if you have any out there Uh, and value rela relational operator. So where did I go wrong? So let's just go over the script again. Uh, that command is equal to uh, okay. An owner table name. Not in select distinct. There you go. This is my problem. Um, okay. So now we just wait. And it basically it's gonna it's going to capture it's gonna uh display all the different objects that are not uniquely identifiable inside the database. And also in terms of um so uh so in terms of this query, right? If you if you run it and you have and you have let's say you know some sort of additional configuration let's say you have you know you also you use you also using a database for you know golden gate or if you're also using a database for uh let's say maybe if you have an arm end user who's configured on the database then it's probably going to show as a uh, as an as a uh, not uniquely identifiable object um but uh that should not be a problem so and again so um those those are the those were the, those were the, the, um, the instances where I where I received any kind of you know any results but you know aside from those you know uh, basically you should you should not you should not receive any there should be no you know the message no row selected because you know all the rows should be uniquely uniquely identifi identifiable um uh, to the um uh, to you know uh, uh, to, uh, so so all the roles are uh, all the all the tabled objects are roles and rows that you you need identifiable except for if you have additional users if you have additional objects uh, let's say per se uh, uh, let's say perhaps you have you know you, you know um, you know and as I've already as I've already said holding it or you know it could be you know any kind of any kind of additional configuration that you have. Just don't be alarmed. Just don't, you know, panic over over any of the results that you that you're seeing. Um. <clears throat> so what I'll do next is I'm going to do a uh, I'm gonna find unsupported data types, right? So and again, so uh, I'm doing this because I'm I'm looking. I want to I want to change my physical standby into a logical standby, right? So let me just confirm. Uh, primary. Okay. You know what? <sighs> um, okay, let's, let's let's keep going. Uh, table does not exist. So what do I do? Debian score logs unsupported. Uh, let's do it. <coughs> Describe Debian underscore L O G S E B I underscore unsupported does not exist um give me one second i'll just confirm this uh, table okay uh welcome back so i was missing a d <coughs> so that was a problem so let me actually modify that on here So let's run that SD, uh, let's run this select statement again. Uh, paste. And let me see. 
So basically, you, you know what this means. So if you look at the message that I have here, right? So it's, got, it's just saying that uh, the if tables will not be applied to the uh, logical standby database after the you know after the conversion, right? So these are the objects. Remember, a vulnerable concept of okay, if you have a lot, if you have a physical standby and if you have a logical standby. And you have a primary database, and that a primary database, uh, the physical standby is a is an exact replica in terms of structure of a, um, for, for, you know, of a primary database, but a logical standby is not. This is what I was, you know, that this is what I was, uh, you know, hinting um, to. Where basically you have these, you know, particular particular objects that are not going to be, uh, you know, uh, you you know, uh, converted. Uh, to you know into into you know usable objects on this logical standby databases. So let me do this. So I'm already connected to DVML, which is a good thing. So uh, so let me do a sh a, a show database. V L M V two. Okay, so I've already I know. Let me actually do do that. So show. Database um, V eleven D two H one. Remember, I'm pointing to my I'm pointing to my uh, physical standby, right? Because I've switched over. So remember, I told you V eleven D two. H1 is no longer my primary, it's a physical standby, and V11D2ST is now it's not my physical standby anymore, it's my primary database. So uh, H1, physical standby, apply on, right? So what I need to do is I need to turn that, I need to turn, uh, change this case to apply off. So I'm going to run this command, edit database, V11D2ST, set state is equal to apply off. So let's do that. Um, edit database. V11G2SD. Uh, another recommendation is uh, basically when you're typing in database name, um, like from previous experiences, right? Uh, it gets really, um, you know, you know, fuzzy as far as, as far as like you know, if you have the, the, the if you don't have the right uh, lettering as far as you know, maybe you know, using uppercase or lowercase, right? So what I've done is I'm just gonna, you know, what I've started to do is I'm just gonna use my, you know. The quotations and then put my my exact uh, database name inside the quotation, you know, to avoid any any um, you know uh, you know misreadings by uh, by by the broker the broker agents. So let's do a database um, set state is equal to let's do apply of okay, this is invalid. Okay, so what I do? So it says it gets a file, and why why is it giving me this error? Actually, you know what? No, 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 no. I'm looking to change my standby. And again, so why am I why? And again, so would. With uh with the primary database is actually is the is the transport on so that uh, makes sense so let's just run this apply off uh v eleven g two there you go okay so if I rerun that show database again so it's now set to apply off. And so what I do next is I am you know I'm supposed to exit uh, DJML but I have a sec I have a uh, third window open here so um so let's do this uh so I can run it before so okay so I think I might this might be more for you know down the line so let's just let, let's just see what's going on here. Uh convert uh, physical standby to logical standby okay so let me do after that this recover um recover recover uh to logical standby v eleven d two h one
So hopefully, okay, let's try, let's try it out. Copy this. Um, I think that's probably why I have the auto have this open and sell out here. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's start that with uh, with uh, open and sell out. Until five four seven, whatever. Is. Yeah. So, um, this is probably not the right. I'm not sure what I meant by this, but, um, uh, anyways, what I do is I'm just gonna, uh, take, take, uh, open the database. Keep the database open. See, something with a primary here. And the primary is not shut down, so um Okay, okay, anyway, so what I do is I'm just gonna run that command. That should not be open, so let's see which uh shut immediate. That's exactly why I had it in the mount mode. Okay. So let's see what startup mount. And let's do a let's run that command again. I'll show you the cover to like the standby B11 GPS one. Okay, so Hopefully after that I'll be able to shut down again and start the database in mount mode and eventually perform you know you know and actually open the uh, and eventually just open the database. So I'm actually going to pause here and then I'll be back. Uh, I'll pick it back up when uh, this uh, command uh, is, uh, is complete. Okay, guys. <clears throat> so welcome back. Uh, so what I was saying, as I was saying before, so you have to uh, shut down that space in amount mode before you can run the, uh, this command. But... What I was doing wrong before is I had you have to build you have to build a uh, a dictionary you know, on your primary database before before you can uh, run this command. So I had I had this one here at the bottom, and it should have, it should have actually been uh, come first. So first you you run the command exec uh, dbms uh, log uh, standby that build, which is what I ran here at the bottom. And then after that, you go to the large, the physical standby database. And while the database is in mount mode, as you can see, um, then after that, you run the command alter database recover to logical standby. And then you just put the, the, the database name. So um, the command will be let me actually just so alter. <coughs> Let me make it less confusing. So, author. And it's going to be DB name. And more specifically, the standby, physical standby DB name. 
Okay, so I've already I've already converted my uh, changed my my physical standby database to logical standby. But what happened is that after that, uh, apparently the database was shut down. So I try to do all the database open, being that the database was in mountain mode. Um, so what I would do next is I'm gonna I'm actually going to shut down the database. I don't read on I read on you know I could just query to see what state it's in. It's not gonna it's not gonna it's not even you know you can't even query if you don't database. So let me just shut down the database or shut immediate. After I've shut down the database, I'm gonna start it up in mount mode again. Instant shutdown. Start a mount. And after the database has been the database has been mounted, uh, what I'll do is I will let me see. Open the database and with reset logs. Let's see if that if it makes any difference if I open it without reset logs. So let's do auto database open. You know what? Let me not do that. Let me just do a reset logs. After that, it's open. Reset log. So if you're not familiar with what reset log means, it actually just means that I'm starting the database with a new incarnation. Uh, meaning that basically, you know, this is a new, a, a new, a new, like a new beginning for the database, right? Um, and it, and so it's not it's not you know as far as the concept it's not too complicated but in terms of um, basically performing recoveries you know having to deal with more like multiple information of your database can get really uh, complicated uh, because you have to you know you have to look for a previous incarnation um, make sure that you that you that you that you have the you know you know you're pointing to the right to the right uh, you know the right uh, sequence. And the, the right, the right numerical value and whatnot for those incarnations. So it can get really, you know, out of hand. But that's what it, that's what we said. Log is it just still is for the, a new incarnation of your database. So database has been open. Um, let me do. A, I'm gonna run these two commands. Right? I'm gonna run the auto database start logical uh, standby apply immediate. So let's copy that. There you go. Okay, so let's actually let's query our database well. So let's do it select database underscore row mv dot database. So we have ourselves a logical standby database. That is great. Um <clears throat> so what we'll do next is we'll actually go over to our DJMG are client and then you know look at our configuration and see and you know possibly you know do some um, you know change some settings or review some settings. So let me just look at what's going on here. Um, okay, great. Okay, so I'm gonna come to my my logical my, my DJMG client and I'm going to run show configuration. It should it should give me a um, yeah. So I'm not connected to Opal. So let me do this. Um, connect. Okay, and then do a show configuration. So I'm getting the error, right? The over one six eight one zero. So what does it say? Uh, give me one second. Uh, warning about you know uh, you know being that I have, I have a physical a logical standby as opposed to you know and not a physical uh, standby database anymore. Um, so what I'll do is um, I'm going to remove my 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 log my physical standby database. So let's do this. So remove database. V11 G2 ST, or actually rather it's H1. Because if you look here at the top, this, this, is a, this is a physical standby. So, remove that database.
There you go. Okay. And let's see what's next. Um, so I'm going to add the database now as a logical as a logical uh, database. So it's going to be add database. Uh, let me actually add database v11g2 h1 uh, as connect identifier is v11g2 uh, h1 maintainers logical uh, as connect identifier is v11g2 h1 maintained as logical uh, at database okay so let's see let's do a show configuration so you can see what's going on so okay so connect let's do a uh, show configuration again that is not part of the Oh, you know what I did? Uh, let me exit. So I was logged in as, so if I do echo, and I do oco underscore SID, oco underscore SID. Actually, what do I have here? This percent. Okay, so I'm actually, I'm still, I'm still in the uh, H1 environment, right? But we just removed that database. So I have to reset my, Reset my uh my 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 database environment to the SD V11 G2 SD. So set Oracle underscore SID is equal to V11 G2 SD, and it's going to BGM GIL BG M B G M G R L. Okay, so let's do a connect. And let's do a show configuration. There you go. We only have one family database, so let's run that that command again to add database. Add database v11g2h1 as connect identifies maintain as logical. There you go. The database has been added. Uh, so let me just see at the bottom. Um, now I'm going to run the show configuration again. Show configuration. There you go. My my logical standby database is actually disabled. Um, so now I will enable this database. So I'm going to run enable database. V11G2H1. There you go. Database has been enabled. So let's run the show configuration again. Uh, so now, basically, we have our data guard environment um, set up with you know with uh, v11g2sd as a primary and v11g2h1 as a logical. So let's continue on. Uh, <clears throat> So now I've already confirmed that you know we have a logical standby database here. So let's see. So I'm going to uh, you know do some testing on my on my logical standby database. So let's see what kind of test I have here. So create table. And and again yeah, I'm on I'm on, the, I'm on the primary database by the way. So I'm gonna create a table. Uh, it's going to be called table one, and I'm going to insert some values in this table. So copy. And again, so the bottom one is my physical standby database. Let me let me run it. Select uh, database well so you can see. This is my primary database. So let me create this table. Table one, and I'm going to insert some values in table one. So I'm going to insert values test. Uh, 
one and then text text one for that. I mean it's not doesn't make any sense, but I'm just you know just get the text one for sorry. So copy that. Um, paste that on here. One was been created, so let's commit. There you go. So now I'm going to go to my go to my standby database and do a uh, select style from table one and see if I have this table object on my logical standby database. Table of view doesn't exist. Uh, let's see. So let's look at the the seek the uh the log right the the archive log to check it to to see if it's in the file. So let's do a max sequence fifty four max sequence. It's only three right. So let's see. The thing is, I have a um. And this is a new incarnation, so it's gonna be, you know, and again, don't don't pay too, don't be, you know, too worried about the number. Uh, that is basically uh, this is a uh, this is a this is a, a I'm just starting on a new database here. So, um, so let's do this. So it's forty fifty four. Let's do a select max. Let's do this. Uh, select sequence apply where this um, and again this command is specifically for the logical step by database. Okay. Um. Apply current. Okay. Before. So let's run that select that. Table V does not exist. Let's see. Table one. Okay. Let's see what's going on. So it says applied here, but apparently it's not been applied. Okay. Fifty four, fifty four. They're the same values. So you know what? Let me do this. Select max sequence. Uh. Uh, you had no idea, but let me see. Fifty four. Fifty four, so this should be Yeah, I should the data should be should already be should already be in the uh in this database, in the logical summer database. Um let me do this. It's been committed. Um, it doesn't exist. Maybe I need to do a. It's not gonna be an archive log switch, but um, let's do this. Select sequence. Um, where sequence number fifty four. So it's current. So let's do a. Was sequence number is equal to uh, fifty four. Exact character. So let's see what I have here. Select sequence apply. No sequence apply from DBA. Uh, was sequence number is equal to fifty four. Oh, I have two semicolons. It's the current. Um, so it's not been applied yet. Okay, so maybe if I get if I get to if I get fifty four, uh, and I say and any any changes to applied, then I would have that I would have that table the table one that we just created. But let's see what's going on here. 54. So 
Okay. What I'll do is I'm just gonna be I'm just gonna wait. Um it's the current it's the current um, this is my this is the current uh log file called okay, log file. So okay. So let's do let's actually do this manually, right? Um auto system switch log file. Fifty-five. So let's rerun our query again. Um, Fifty-five. So let's check the status of a for our apply. So let's do not sequence. No, not that. Was the um, fifty-four apply? We get our send by yes. Okay, so let's run that. Let's run that select style from table one again. So I'm not sure why it's not it's not uh it's not you know it wasn't sent to the to the logical standby database. Um create table table one set table one value so it should it should be in this in this logical standby database. But if I if I come to my physical database I, and I do a select style from table from table one, this one is there and okay that's fine that's fine. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm going to pause here and when I get back I will have an explanation for you. Uh, thank you so much for watching.